This month on Patreon, we've been doing um, fungus-related artwork, so I'm doing a lot of mushroom sketching and things like that. I've really been enjoying this one, and I just uh, finished the gray paper sketchbook that I was using, so I'll have to do a flip through of that on Patreon as well. But one thing that it reminded me of um, was the story that we read in elementary school. I don't remember anything about it. I think it's called like The Secret World of Og. <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers that one. And that story was just one of many that have slipped out of my mind over the years. But because I am so uh, food fixated, I do remember one detail of it, it, which is that, you know, these kids go through some kind of trap door and they end up in a strange little world with, I don't, I don't know, some sort of characters, maybe they're elves or something, I don't know. <laughs> but they live in a mushroom world and all they eat is mushrooms. That's all they eat mushrooms and rabbit sauce or something and I still have that other series um, where I send my cat strew knot to all of these different places that I can think of and while that's sort of always on the back burner I do kind of want to send them to a world like that and I was thinking of what a pastry shop in this world would look like and so I've been doodling random ideas of what kind of things you'd find in a pastry shop in a world that more or less only eats mushrooms. So I'd, I'd like to, to draw some, maybe some cakes that are decorated with uh, mushrooms and lichens and things. Um, there's some mushroom strudel in here, some eclairs, pretty much anything that I could visually reproduce using a fungus of some kind. They come in so many different shapes and colors that the possibilities just expand on forever. So these are just a few that I came up with. I did draw a Yule log that was just literally a log and I was telling my husband about it that maybe they uh, have some kind of contest every year where they go out and hunt for the most uh, incredible Yule log and cut it down and, and serve it on a, on a beautiful mossy platter or something and then they just pick mushrooms off of it. <laughs> and, and he said that, well, what if they farmed it so that they spent the whole year creating these wonderful fungus-covered and moss-covered logs for for a contest, kind of like a giant pumpkin growing contest. And I thought that was really clever too. And I thought, well, they must have different categories. They must have like farm made and natural made Yule logs. It's a very interesting concept, I thought. And I guess they'd have to have rules in place to keep people from just like stapling mushrooms onto uh, pre-existing logs and dressing it up that way. Cheating, I guess. Yeah, he's really cute. Um, I'm hoping to make an actual painting uh, incorporating some of these and some new ones, especially, you know, wedding cakes and stuff. I thought it'd be really fun. But yeah, these will probably be in the shop by the time this video is up. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.